Righto, there we go. My apologies for not having uh, sound to uh, start with, but we're looking pretty good now. So we do have the flight path underway of uh, game one of the Esports Empire Thunder Cup. We've got uh, Debbie God Incognito in slot one. Sabrina Fugos in at two. We've got Better Sentinel in three. Uh, Gooey Dotty Esports in uh, four. ALSK in uh, five. We've got Akuma Kitsuni in six. Sabrina UGK in uh, seven. Birmingham Schools in eight. We're going to have Orange Esports in nine. Six C Empire in ten. We've got uh, Marty A seven E. I think it is in eleven. C Max in twelve. Uh, join me or join me Yellow in thirteen. Anchor PUBG Esports in fourteen. We've got join me Black in fifteen. And Family TPK in sixteen. So flight path very very. Focus on that eastern side going from Novo all the way up to Severny. The zone is uh, not a super, super common one, but it does uh, show itself a, a lot in that uh, city. It's going to be just north of Mount Everest. So it does look like we've got a uh, squad. Who we've got here? It's going to be slot two. That's Sabrina Fugos heading up towards Stolber. They're doing a real trash load at the moment. Very, very split, but they don't have a lot of company with them uh, at the uh, moment. We're going to have, uh, who we got here? Team at 12. That will be Team at Max dropping at Yasnoi. It looks a bit like most of the teams they have got themselves uh, some or plenty of uh, areas to loot on their lines and there's a couple of teams that are reasonably close by that we might see a little bit of uh, action early on but it does look like we're going to see a couple of teams moving out towards uh, center zone early early on so that's going to be Guidotti Esports Mikasa on the move there Demigod, uh, Demigod one of the Demigod players was unfortunately just taking it down run over in the early stages it was going to be GDT Paz MKS that uh, did manage to get that run over straight off the bat so we're gonna have mafia 70 down towards the farm area so they've got to uh, push out it looks like we're gonna have a squad down at milder that is gonna be a team 14 anchor pubg esports who we got down uh, south so it's gonna be a 6c empire down at towards uh, ferry pier at the moment and uh, I'm fairly interested in what's going to happen around the, uh, the Rosshock area. We've got uh, UGK. So that's, uh, I think it's, uh, was it joining me? Well, let me have a quick look. Team 7, that's uh, Sabrina UGK. That's going to be uh, down at Rosshock. We do have a team that is going to be behind those guys as well. That's going to be Team 3. So better Sentinel. Chances are they'll end up either spotting themselves, uh, each other out. It does look like some of the, uh, the players from uh, UGK uh, sort of moving over a little bit to spot out that uh, compound where some of the better Sentinel players are. We'll either see it uh, go two ways. They're either going to try and go straight through Rosalk or they're going to go north around, I'm guessing, with this northerly zone. So ALSK over at Lepovka doing a split loop between Mansion and Lepovka in uh, this one. And we're going to have uh, TBK on the move. They're going to push over to hospital. So pushing over to more so to the western side. As this zone, it's right up in the northwestern side. So who we got at Watertown? That is going to be Team 8. It is going to be Burmese Ghouls. It's going to be up there for the other time being. Obviously, they've got a fairly easy rotation into the next zone. I do like the split that uh, Demigod has got at the moment. That's Demigod Incognito. You can see it's she down south in and towards center zone getting a, or trying to get as much information on the other teams as they rotate in as possible. My apologies if I'm a bit rough on this one tonight. We had about 10 minutes time to get organized and uh, yeah, I'm... Uh, Trying my best at the moment to get on at top of this. But uh, right, it looks like we've got Bunny. I think we'll uh, jump on it to uh, now. We'll jump back to uh, the other main screen and just have a quick look what is happening with Bunny. So we've got Bunny and Wham that were uh, obviously rocking past a couple of players. They had the uh, six shooter out, taking a couple of shots, a couple of pot shots at the uh, players from GGT as they did push past. It looks like they're going to push right past though and head all the way over to uh, Zaki. So we've got uh, Sin Yul for uh, GDT. We'll have a quick look at, uh, start bouncing around some of these teams just to get familiar with the names. So we've got Clips, Genos, Sin Yul, and Paz once again. If I do butcher these names, my apologies. I will try my best to get them right, but uh, 
it's uh, not always going to be the case, but let's have a quick look at what's happening with Chi. So he was the one that was uh, essentially trying to get as much information as he could for the guys from Demigod in Cognito as we start to render in. You can see we do have a squad starting to move in. That is going to be Team 3, which uh, I believe is going to be... Wrong way for this list to come up. There we go, uh, Better Sentinel. Don't get very, very close in at the moment. So who we got here? Kuma Katsuni, is it? Team 9, I think. No, sorry, it's going to be... Uh, sorry, Team 6. That is going to be, yeah, Kuma Katsuni. ALSK, we've got FGS right up on that northern side. That's the uh, Sabrina Fios. Have we got it down here? Org Sky. So this is going to be Team 9, so Orange Esports, righto. So Orange, we've got Popov, we've got Sun Sun, Sky Nin, and Astro X in it for those guys tonight. Let's have a quick look back at what's happening with that Chi, though. Surely he's got to have spotted those players out. He's just uh, laying reasonably low at the moment. So, uh, from a better Sentinel... We'll uh, just bump this computer up a little bit, so uh, should be starting to run a little bit smoother. There we go. Beautiful. As I said, uh, not a lot of time, but as you can see, as Phase 1 does close, we can see we've got a lot of teams mobilizing now. They are on the move, and it's highly likely that we're going to see a lot of uh, people running into each other looking at this. So we've got uh, Shazam for UGK on the, uh, the move at the moment. Just uh, pushing around. We're going to have... Who else we got in here? So we've got Fire, Few, Dragon, and Shazam. I'm super keen to uh, see these teams because I've never seen them before, so I've got no idea how they are going to play, how the, what the strats are going to be. It does look like we're going to have Team 8. That is Burmese Ghouls moving fairly close towards the zone as well. They're going to be in the uh, the island sort of area in the middle. But it uh, looks like it's only a three-man squad. We've got Icy, we've got Miracle, and uh, maybe... Maybe they'll uh, take the dub. Let us know in the chat who you think is going to get the win. For game number one. So it looks like we've got uh, let's have a quick look at uh, FGS, see who we've got up here in, with uh, Fugos. They're going to have Spoogle, Reaper, Deja. My apologies, I'm sure I butchered that one. And Paid or uh, Paid. It's actually uh, Paid. But uh, right we've got uh, Team 12. That's going to be Team Max on the other move as well. There's pushing to the northern side. So most of the teams sort of thinking this zone is going to go north, and it is slightly more likely to go north on this one but mafia now getting in the other uh, mix as well but further down south we've got a join me kicking off here with that mafia and it looks like uh, joining me might be in a little bit of trouble one second All right so this is going to be uh joining me black as a uh, max stalker takes down ugk dragon Let's have a quick look. So power just getting a uh, revive out at the second. You can see, it uh, looks like we've got blue that is currently down for Mafia. Burst now looking to get that revive. You got uh, Bavith up top, just trying to hold T-Rex back. And uh, Mafia, where's the uh, the fourth player? Have they lost one already? They have two. So it looks like, uh, I think it's Senna Saw has been finished off already. As we see, Mafia starting to pull out a little bit. You got T-Rex having to pull back. He's forced back by the uh, the guys from Joining Me Black pushing right up. So we'll jump back onto uh, Bivit uh, as he does continue to move forward. So he's on the outside, but it looks like down on the front line, we do have a fair bit of action now kicking off. The dude does go down. We've got Burst now going down as well. We've got Blue going uh pushing up he's gonna get an angle onto kid fairly soon but t-rex gets tagged up by Bavith. kid now goes down as well Bur uh, burst is it no it's actually gonna be blue laying down the law on this one but he is down to pretty much one tap he's getting a heal on now and he's gonna have to go headlong into Bavith. we're about to see uh, the finale of one of the teams and that's gonna be mafia 7e going out 
in a 15th position unfortunately so they'll uh, be taking an early exit in game at number one it'll be i'm keen to see how they are going to fare as we uh progress into the next couple of games though so uh, hopefully they can regroup and uh obviously uh get a little bit more momentum back and uh, get a few uh, placings up for the uh upcoming games but right so we've got leon cream we've got stalker and Kriz in for team where max is trying to hold down one of the uh, three stackers at the moment on the uh, northern side. TBK pushing over towards Mount Everest at the moment. We do have an airdrop coming in between. A better Sentinel. And also uh, Team 8. That's going to be Burmese Ghouls. But most of the teams are barely spread out now. I think we did lose another team in the other uh, mix as well. I'm not sure who it is. We'll uh, just work it out just quickly for you. So that was going to be UGK. They were taken out early on. So they must have went out in uh, 16th. That's uh, Sabrina UGK, unfortunately, done and dusted. But it looks like Orange, they're going to start pushing over towards, or they've definitely spotted out some of the uh, the players here for the team to uh, Sabrina Fugos. So what's Sunsung going to do? He's going to look to uh, take the fight. It's no real clear angles at the moment. Support is now starting to come in. But it looks like they might potentially disengage. But we've just got the, uh, the couple of players pushing up. Closer on the other side here. No, so we're going to see these guys push in. Oh, two players do go down. Astro and Pov Pov are taking it down. And that's going to be uh, Sabrina Fugos. Getting it two kills early on. So you do have Sunside still on that front line. We've got Sky Nina further back at the moment. That might be able to get an angle from above. We will see what happens here in uh, just a moment. So just uh, jumping up and seeing uh, how high... They can uh, get a uh, view on. But uh, it does look like we're going to see Orange pull out of this one. And uh, we can see we do have ALSK that is in shooting range at the moment. They have a spotted out. Orange is moving through. I'm surprised Mikey Loves didn't actually take a couple of shots there at Skyline because he's uh, pretty much out of the open. They had didn't have a great deal of uh, places to go from there. Does look like they didn't want to give away their position as yet. So a uh, Sky Nim will keep on moving through. It does look like we're gonna be pretty much out of render distance here for ALSK, where they do pull up on that northern side. But 14 te teams remain. We've got 51 players left alive. Who is gonna take the dub for game number one of the uh, the Thunder Cup regional finals for Southeast Asia? So we're going to see Mikey Loves, unfortunately, does get taken down there. It's joining me, coming back at it. So I think this is actually the other joining me squad. It is. So this is going to be, sorry, we've still got stuff going everywhere at the second. Get in there, get in there. Beautiful, righto. So this is going to be joining me yellow now, getting the mix. You can see these guys super, super keen to get very, very aggressive. We've got Franco that's on the outside. And it uh, looks like he's, he's going to uh, tag... Oh, sorry, he's going to uh, throw a couple of nades there, but we're going to have Snakey getting that OP nade that does manage to get the knock on to Franco as the rest of ALSK do push down into the uh, crater. What the hell is going on here with this emulator? There we go. Sorry, not the other uh, crater. It's going to be the bunker. So, yellow. Going to be yellow. They are going to uh, be just chilling up top at the moment. They're trying to get a couple of nades down. Will they be able to make them connect though? They do! We've got Mikey Loves gets taken down. Surely we're going to see Joining Me now push in on this one. We've got Joss down at stairs and the uh, the Punks. So the Punks looking to get that revived at the moment. Insane that you can see they've got all four vehicles down here. That's sort of blocking the entrance a little bit. But uh, the Mollies might actually just about block these guys in. They're going to have to jump over those buckets to get in. All their vehicles are going to be trapped if they do blow them up. So they are super, super close to blowing. I don't know how uh, how well they fought through this strat. I'm guessing they were hoping to uh, not be spotted out, but we are going to have uh, some action a little bit further away at the moment. Zona, Joy to me, now starting to get tagged up by someone else. So it's... Ooh, Zona has pushed over this way. It is actually going to be Orange now putting the pressure on from the ridges over to the west. Let's have a quick look at Sky in just quickly. So he's got a DP in hand three times. Can he get a, another knock on for a bit of a spray through the smoke? Does look like Snakey is back up. He gets a couple of tags onto Joseph. 
but isn't able to get the knock as yet. So we'll just keep tapping away, not dump on full mags as yet, but we'll need to get a reload. You can see all these teams starting to uh, push in now. So we do have 6C Empire pushing in now to uh, the shooting range area. It looks like they might end up trying to take some of the uh, little hills and valleys around that area, but let's have a quick look at uh, this one. So 6C Empire, they have had someone uh, down very, very close. It's actually gonna be the uh, Orange player. So it's all up to Squine in now. I don't see uh, Squine in getting the uh, revive on to uh, Sunsun there. And Sunsun will be confirmed. So we've got Sabrina Fugos that's gonna be pushing over that uh, high side now towards shooting range. That might end up catching out 6C Empire. Looks like they are gonna scramble back though. And uh, head out just to the Western side of shooting range. So we've got a couple of teams that have been laying very, very low in this. We've got Anchor, PUBG, Esports that are coming in from the eastern side. Obviously, uh, the guys from Join Me Black now coming into play there. Bavit does manage to take down a zero. But uh, we'll have a quick look back what's happening here at uh, shooting range. So you can see Join Me Yellow, they did uh, sort of uh, pull back from that fight with ASK. They're not looking to uh, take the confirm. They uh, looks like they felt it was a little bit of a trap. And uh, they're just going to let those guys be for the uh, the moment. Right, let's have a quick look back over at... Uh, no, we've got plenty of shots now still being shot around this general area. It is going to be 6A Empire trying to make their way down the hill and uh, squad up, essentially, as they uh, look to uh, take a nice little valley out to the western side of 6C Empire. Oops, my apologies. There we go. I think we should be a little bit better off now. Everything should be a little bit more controllable. And we're going to be going down to the south on this one. So Akumi Katsuni already inside zone. We are going to have... Uh, that's going to be Burmese schools moving early on as well. And uh, do have a nice position inside zone. Sky in. let's have a quick look at this though. So prone to up last one standing for Orange Esports. We do have Foxy now getting taken down by Snakey. So... It's plenty of third parties happening at the moment. We've got uh, Join Me trying to make a uh, spot to enter this zone, trying to put the uh, pressure on the 6A Empire. So they're going to be able to move easier as they uh, they come in. But the same that does look like uh, we've got ALSK now looking to move TBK, now starting to push down from the north as well. Bromina does get taken down. And we're going to have uh, Join Me. Let's quick jump, uh, quickly jump back onto these guys. So we've got uh, ALSK still yet to really move from that position. They're leaving it very, very late. As you can see, that vehicle is a risky business for these guys to pull out. Or is it actually uh, blown? That's blown. They are going to be screwed on that one. I think it is. So they've got uh, a lot of problems. Let's jump on it to Anchor. Hub uh, G Esports, just quickly and see what's happening as they try to make their way in on that eastern side. Looks like they're going to be coming on to a couple of players here of uh, joining me, but we do still have a fair bit more action happening over on the other side with that uh, TBK. Now scrambling to get themselves in to a zone. We're going to see Timphy, unfortunately, does get taken down at the, uh, the plane crash site. So it looks like uh, Deja is going to be in amongst that one. We still do have GGT just out to the north as well. That will be looking to uh, put the pressure on these teams as they come in from the south. But they're still engaging with B Beta Sentinel. Who are in the Midwest at the moment. So TBK looking for a spot to get in at the moment as they, uh, they come in. Let's have a quick look back at uh, Clips just quickly and see what they uh, can see. There we go, so TBK, they're really going to struggle to get in here. They're insane that they're opening the door, though. We've got uh, Pazzo, it's just taken it down. And it looks like the rest of GD, uh, GDC will now look to uh, finish these guys off. The fault, unfortunately, does get thirsted up. We've got no crush now in the sights of Senor, but he isn't able to get the uh, last player or confirmed as yet. So no crush, that zone is gonna start hurting a little bit now. Going for a bit of a first aid, last man standing here for TBK, that's family TBK. So Nate's pushing forward, beautiful Nate comes in. Uh, from Spoogle on the other side. And uh, takes down a couple of GDT players. 
And I'm assuming Fugos, they will look to come over the top now. As you can see, they are running it straight over the top. They're going to push right in. They want to get the confirm on those couple of kills. We've got Genos that is uh, on the back line at the moment that will be looking to hold these guys back. Unfortunately, his teammates are going to be here. All finished off. The Eclipse does get finished off. But Fugos now in the sights. Of, we've got uh, Speed going down now. And it does look like Fugos taking this fight out on the uh, the outside here could be disastrous. It's done to see a few players go down. We've got a couple that are already inside zone, at least, or one. It's going to be Reaper that has managed to make his way there. And unfortunately, they do get confirmed. So FGS, they're going to be down to just one. And it looks like Reaper's still outside of zone. A zone goes down to the south. Better Sentinel looking pretty good though at the moment. They've got a lot of pressure. They're going to have a lot of pressure coming in from that northwestern side. But can they hold it down? Because they'll have the highest sort of position after the fact if they can last this one out. So uh, we're going to have Genos, unfortunately, does get finished off. That's going to be GDT going out. We've got 11 teams remaining. We've got 30 players left alive. Who is going to take the dub? Let's jump on to the other side, though. We've got Anka going up against uh, Akuma Kitsuni. So we've got uh, Shroud. Looking at two pushing in at the moment. We've got nades in hand as he tries to... Oh, he just was going to get try get nade on to uh, Stacey. But, but I believe, believe he uh, had a little, little bit too much pressure on. Has to pull back and we'll be looking to get some revives. But Akuma Kitsuni just crawling over this compound. And he's going to be a tough hold looking at this. But Joy Me Power now taking down. Joy Me Onyx on the two. Joy Me squads going at it. But we'll stick on this one for just a moment. Shroud does manage to uh, get a knock back by the looks. Let's jump onto the shroud just quickly either side of the other uh, building. But it does need to get a revive on his teammate. We've got the zero on the outside that's uh, still just uh, engaging with other squads by the looks. A shroud does get a revive. And a zone shifts back over to a be beta central. Let's jump onto this join me fight just quickly and see what is happening here. So outside of zone for Snakey. As he does manage to get a knock on a one. But unfortunately he's going to be finished off. That is team 13. And Joining me, Yellow, done and dusted in about ninth position. So, uh, Beta looking to get a little bit of a revive at the moment. Looks like Bacon will get back up on his feet. Love the uh, the name there, buddy. Let's jump on to uh, Skyne in. So, Skyne in, still kicking for Team Orange at the moment. Just sneaking this one out. Oh, great name comes in. Does manage to take down and mean, uh, knee do. And uh, second they, oh, sorry, it's going to be a Molly. Looks to... Uh, try and get the confirm but i don't think that is going to happen let's jump on to uh abg just quickly we'll anchor so it looks like shroud just trying to bail out of there and trying to get in to zone rather than taking that fight in that compound i think it would have ended in disaster if you had a stuck there so i think very very well played but this is some super sweaty action coming out for game of one of the esports empire thunder cup and right so kumi now starting to move forward as well and looks like they will be coming in directly behind uh, joining me got them just to the north we do have uh, max or sorry team max just to the south and better central just keep getting that zone stone does get taken down there by kid from uh, joining me as you can see akumi kitsuni in a tough spot it is going to be very very tough to, for those guys to get into zone you can see shroud going for a bit of a heel off on the outside of zone at the moment and he's going to move in very very late but better central looking to hold this one down and they've got at least three players up and the uh, no it's going to be a full four-man squad and the controlling area of zone so can they just continue to pummel these teams as they push in We'll uh, soon find out. So five teams now remaining, 13 players left alive. Who is going to get the dub? Can a beta center hold on? And saying that, it looks like we've got Bacon now putting a lot of pressure on. Maybe does go down. Icy. Almost in the other day to throw. Uh, oh, what a beautiful nade coming out from Bot. He takes one down. More nades flying in and BG. Burby schools, they are now down to one. Miracle looking to get some revives at the moment as we do see better central looking out to uh, try and get the, the confirm on the squad and essentially clear any team close by. So Miracle just snaking up at the moment. We do have maybe that has gotten back up on his feet. Bot now gets tagged up. We're going to have Picon that gets tagged up as well. They are fighting back very valiantly at the moment. Can they hold this one down? The pressure's on. They are forced to move forward. As the other teams also now forced to come in, but the third party's now some to come into play. Team Max 
Put even pressure on. Takes down Miracle. We've got maybe on the outside, but Team Max get eliminated in fifth position. Four teams remain. We've got joining me. That's going to go out in fourth, though. Akumi, Kitsune, Better Sentinel, and Burmese Ghouls that are going to be the top three for match number one. So maybe we'll be looking to get the revive. Can they get that reset? Akuma, Kitsune. And he's all up to a movie, so it's going to be a tough call here. And gets tagged up and does get finished off by Playzone. So it was actually Playzone in Muppets. They were just trying to get some uh, shots out. But it's going to be a better Sentinel going up against Burmese Ghouls. And there is just a ton of lead flying in their direction. And better Sentinel take the dub for game number one. And just absolutely dominating in those final stages. They got the zone, they had the high ground, and they were just able to lock it down for the the whole match so well done to a better sentinel that was some crazy action i'm not gonna lie i didn't expect it to be this insane for uh the, for these matches but this is absolutely nuts i'm gonna have a ball casting this right we've got uh pick on with one we've got bot vg with three we're gonna have h2r with two bacon with two as well so a total of eight kills there for better sentinel burbies ghouls in a second position there but they did manage to get five kills we got miracle with one maybe and icy both getting it two kills we've got akuma kitsune in a third position there with a jari getting two kills we've got stacy with one we're gonna have uh, joining me black in fourth position well, they only got in four. They got a ton of points. They managed to get a total of 13 kills. So hitting those double digits and putting a ton of points on the board early on. So you got Bavith in with five kills. And we've got the Join Me Power with two. We've got Kid with four and a knee with the two. So absolutely smashing it there, those guys. They were getting very, very aggressive. They were taking a lot of fights. And uh, yeah, definitely shows that those guys will be a powerhouse when it comes to fragging out. So Team Max in fifth position, they managed to get three kills. You've got Stalker with two. You've got Max Kramer with one. Yeah, so three kills there, obviously four. Team Max, we're going to have APG. That's going to be Anchor PUBG Gaming. In a sixth position with zero, getting a one kill. So obviously getting some placement points, getting up there, but just not able to uh, really launch off and uh, start to frag out towards the end. But Team Orange, those guys coming down from the uh, up at the uh, crash plane, they uh, did pretty well to sort of hold down those uh, outer ridge lines while they had very, very low numbers, especially Sky and in because getting five kills from the team in seventh position was a very, very well done. We've got uh, in eighth position is going to be uh, Family at TBK. So no crush getting one kill for the team there. We've got Join Me Yellow in ninth position. So Snakey getting two kills. Uh, actually surprises me because uh, they were getting in the action a lot, but still uh, didn't manage to uh, secure some or a lot of kills in this match. ALSK in 10th position. We're going to have FGS going out in 11th. So they went out in 11th, but still managed to grab eight kills. So main thing is they're putting points on the board as we go through and hopefully they can get a little bit higher than the, uh, the next one. Got Spoogle with four. You're going to have Reaper with one and Dejar with two and uh, Pete with uh, one. So we'll have uh, GDT in a 12th position with Gino's getting one. You've got Paz with one as well. And uh, in 13th position, we are going to have... Sorry, no, it's going to... Yeah, so we've got Genos with one. We've got uh, Paz with one there as well for GDT in 12th. So uh, Demigod, Incognito, unfortunately, having a rough one in this one in 13th, as with uh, 60 Empire. They go out in 14th position. Foxy with one for those guys. We've got Mafia, 7E in 15th position. And in 16th position, we are going to have a UGK 
going out so taking a very very early demise hopefully they can get up in the upcoming matches we've got two more matches to go but uh, absolute insanity is going to be uh, happening in the, uh, the next couple of matches so i'm seeking i hope you are enjoying the stream if you haven't already make sure you do smash that subscribe button and we will see you very very shortly after this short break as we come back with game number two of the regional finals of southeast asia thunder cup
We are back with game number two of the Thunder Cup by Esports Empire. We're not far off getting underway. Are we going to see the uh, Beta Sentinel get on top again? Or uh, are we going to see, obviously, maybe a new team? Hitting the, uh, the mark on this one. It is going to be Miramar. We're just loading it up in the, uh, the plane now. And uh, I think we're uh, right about to uh, check out this flight path. So let's check it out straight up. So it is going to be going from Valdemar all the way up to Campo Militar. Splitting the zone, uh, splitting the map in half pretty much. So uh, it's going to be looking pretty good for this one. I'm sure a lot of these teams are going to be very, very happy with this uh, this flight path. So it looks like we'll have GDT jumping early on. Looks like they're going to drop around the Valdemar area. They're going to have an insurance policy that's going to go down south to uh, the uh, the island. That's going to be Paz and Beta Center. Looks like they might hit Chuma Serra or Chuma Serra, depending on uh, how you uh, say that one. But uh, UGK looks like they are going to push up north towards Monte Nuevo. We've got uh, Mafia. 70 uh, starting to push out as well heading out towards El Pozo area I'm not sure if they're going to jump that far they do have a little bit of company that is jumping with them as well that is going to be ALSK so who knows we might see uh, them uh, leaning on top of each other and a fight early on FGS heading uh, just out to the south west of Los Leones while Orange they are going to hit Los Leones themselves. So we're going to have Join Me Black that uh, is going to go to Picardo and it's going to be uncontested. Flight uh, sorry, the zone is going to be right up on the, uh, the northern side. Going to be centered up around pretty much the center of Hacienda del Patron as we see a few teams are landing in San Martin. So I do suspect, uh, expect it will kick on very, very soon down there. I believe we've got uh, Anchor PUBG Esports and uh, Burmese Ghouls. We're going to have Pop Pop gets to knock onto uh, Kuma Stacy though early on. So we might uh, jump straight in to the action for that one. Let's have a quick look back here. So Stacy unfortunately does get thirsted up. You can see uh, we've got Akuma that's uh, very, very close by at the moment. These teams looting very, very quickly and Getting straight in amongst the sky, Nin looking to push. So, uh, already had the uh, opportunity to get a couple of weapons and get a helmet and a vest. It surprised me that they did manage to get one that, that quick. But Mui obviously getting tagged up very, very heavily there. You got uh, Jari, and it's going to be Stone going back down again. Skin, a uh, Sky Nin, and does manage to get a, a second knock. Mui is going to have to push out now. Uh, sky Nin absolutely spams that mini, doesn't. Managed to uh, get the confirm, but unfortunately, Kits uh, Kuma Kitsuni off to a very, very troublesome start. Looks like they're going to go straight down to one up play. It's just going to be Mui that's trying to avoid all these incoming shots. So I believe we'll manage to make it away. But it's only going to be one up player remaining. Orange securing a few kills early on. So we'll have uh, three straight up. So it does look like uh, Burmese Ghouls actually sort of pushed out of San Martin rather than taking that fight with the uh, the guys from Anchor Pub G. Obviously, six Empire, uh, six A Empire, they're pushing over to Impala. Should have it uh, reasonably easy. But in saying that, Akuma everywhere, Mui goes. It's running in to another squad. It's very hard to distinguish on the other map because these colours are so similar. But uh, we do have, I think it's FGS that is just uh, around this area. So yeah, right. it's going to be Sabrina, FGS, or Fugos. So Mui will manage to get, make it away, but obviously that vehicle is trashed up. Hopefully they can find a new vehicle very soon. Does look like both those teams, ALS, SK, and Mafia 7E did push to El Pozo. It looks like they're looting up reasonably harmoniously at the moment. Okay, uh, sorry about that. Righto, so uh, where are we going to go first up? You can see Join Me Yellow getting themselves into position reasonably early on, uh, hanging around the Hacienda del Patron area, and they've got a nice uh, little uh, square shape happening at the moment as they uh, look to get information on the teams as they uh, push in. As they do start to push in, though, they're probably going to need to group up a little bit tighter as there is a fair distance in between uh, these, uh, most of these players, at least a couple of hundred metres. 
Looks like Snake is actually going to push over towards uh, San Martin itself. But did manage to grab the uh, Golden Murado straight up. And uh, looks like that is going to be the, uh, the vehicle of choice for game two of the Thunder Cup by Esports Empire. So Demigod must have actually uh, jumped super, super late. You can see uh, Chi that uh, is uh, way over towards Campo Melita while the rest of the squad is over just out to the west of Water Treatment. And we might jump back on to uh, Mafia 7 just quickly, or 7E, as uh, they're starting to get very, very close to ALSK. I'm actually surprised we haven't seen uh, any shots coming through as yet. Both these teams just uh, looting up. They would have seen each other's shoots as they were coming in, but it doesn't look like they're looking to spot each other out as yet. So we've got uh, Miracle up top. Let's have a quick look. We got Shroud and the, uh, the rest of the crew from uh, APG uh, G just uh, moving it around. San Martini's on the uh, in the yellows up on the uh, western side. It does look like we'll see uh, Burmese ghouls start to uh, group up a little bit. Shroud, I'm surprised haven't hasn't uh, heard some of those vehicles out and hasn't taken any shots, but Burmese ghouls they are going to start to uh, group right up. So we may see it uh, get very, very congested on sort of the uh, the western side as these teams come in around that San Martin area if they all do push towards center zone. I just don't know how likely it is that they're going to move that fast as we start to see phase one close. GDT are leaving a very, very late to come in. And I wouldn't be surprised if we uh, see the teams that are down on that southern side sort of push around to that east because it will be sort of away from the flight path and you'd be assuming there'll be less teams there. So it's uh, likely we might see some action there, but a lot of teams now really uh, mobilizing as they push towards the center zone as phase one does well, get close to uh, finishing up. But in saying that, let's just stick on these two players just quickly. You can see they're getting themselves a, a couple of vehicles here. One second. Let's see if I can uh, bring it. this one down a touch. That can I work? No, it doesn't look like it's going to work. Maybe we just bring that over here. That's going to look a uh, little bit better. And we'll give you guys a uh, better view. We can probably do it on the other side. Hold on one second. Do we do have shots now coming out? We'll be able to see the other players slightly better now. Beautiful. Cool. Let's get into it. We can see Burmese Ghouls in the site of Anchor PUBG Gaming. So we've got these guys running a bit of a uh, two by two at the second. And setting it. Burmese Ghouls scrambling back. So Miracle unfortunately has been taken down. And it is a uh, very, very tough spot here. So uh, we've got Dark on the other side that uh, did come up. Hold on, so Dark is actually going to be in for... Uh, it's going to be Ninja for uh, Burmese School. So it looks like they didn't manage to uh, get a sub in for this one. Cool. But we do have a beta central obviously game number one winners starting to get a, a little bit closer to a zone as well uh, sorry to uh, towards center and they're starting to get v relatively close to a couple of other teams as well but it looks like we've got uh, same squad rocking in this one we've got bot pick on h2r and uh, bacon airdrops coming down it's going to be in between all these uh, teams grouped up as well so is anyone going to look to uh, contest that surely not being out in the open where it is Surely not. But uh, let's have a quick look back up at uh, Demigod. And uh, just see what is happening to these guys up uh, top. So BG Miracle unfortunately does now get confirmed. We've got uh, a couple of teams now starting to push in and outside of zone though. GDT getting very, very close here to Orange. You can see Paz, he does get uh, his, vi or his vehicle loses a tire at the very, very least. And that's going to slow his uh, push in just a little bit. Does look like they or oh, Orange won't get any further angles though as Zone continues to move forward. We're starting to center up around water treatment now. 
So it is going to be Northern Zones, and saying that Paz in a little bit of trouble here is in slow mode with only one retire. But it looks like he will manage to avoid the engagements here. We'll jump on back to Burmese schools, I think, and we'll see what is happening here. So you can see IC is on the uh, the move. We've got uh, most of the teams now starting to mobilize as they will uh, try to establish themselves closer towards a center zone. So it looks like we're going to have uh, Dream Me Yellow pushing in towards center just below uh, TBK. So TBK already inside that center zone position. Demigod, ALSK and the Beta Sentinel look like they are on a real collision course though. So we're gonna have to uh, keep a close eye on what's happening here. So we do have H2R that's spotting out on the uh, Demigod Incognito players pushing up the hill. They spot out, spot out the vehicles. They're right on the render distance. But GDT Genos unfortunately was just caught out and thirsted straight up by Popov from Orange Esports. So let's jump in towards uh, Mikey Love on the other side. So we do have uh, Beach Central that's getting very, very close to ALSK here. You've got Bacon just in uh, this uh, warehouse as ALSK and the Beta Sentinel look to take in this fight. In the relatively early stages, we're still in phase two. We've still got about 50 seconds until the next phase of the match starts uh, closing. But Franco now looking to get a, a bit of a flag. This is going to put Bot in a very, very perilous position with a player above. He's doing pretty well uh, to keep his head down though. And it looks like the rest of the sport is going to come in. They are going to need to be very, very wary here as you, you've got a couple of players still above. You can see Franco has spotted out H2R moving on through. Does look to uh, take a couple of shots, but is unable to do so as yet. But uh, all these teams just spread out over the top of this hill at the moment. That's so a uh, very, very spread out fight. On this one, and we're going to see uh, Spoogle does manage to get the knock on to uh, Bro Mean. That's going to be further a uh, wait. Where is that? That's going to be down south here. Let's have a quick check out of this fight. Looks like this one is in uh, a little bit more close quarters than the last. But Foxy stuck in a couple of nades. He's got the Tommy in hand, the 50 round drum mag. As a Pede starts to push up and Foxy is going to have to clutch up on this one as he goes up against Reaper. Reaper does get taken down. Pete now looks to push out, but if they can pull these players over that ridge line, they should be able to get some support. Pete now starts to get tagged up from over on that other ridge line. Pete does go down and Foxy just needs to keep banging these guys over. But now's the time to Fox, for Foxy to try and capitalize on that too and possibly look to... Uh, Get a uh, confirm on that knock and maybe take down Spoogle. You do have Dejar that's a little bit uh, further back at the moment, making sure he's got plenty of hard cover. But will we see the nades start to raid in? Phase two now starting to close. We're going to have Vander taking down Pede. Sorry, let's see how the kill feed just finally uh, catching up, I believe. There we go. So we're going to have the punks going down. Looks like Beta and. The ALSK really, really going at it on that northern side. Spoogle pulling it right back. I do like the other uh, movements there. Might be able to get an off angle onto Vanda. It does look like Vanda will uh, be fairly out in the open there from that side. Ninja now goes down as well in the uh, the distance. So Foxy just holding it tight at the moment. It's Vanda forced to push back with Spoogle sort of chasing it down. And it looks like those two players are set to go head to head on this western side while well, the god pulls back around to uh, the other side and so we're gonna have joss now going down what's happening back up north so it looks like it's all up to mikey loves for alsk so they may be taking an early exit again they had a rough match in the uh, the first one i was hoping they could pull it back a little bit so we're gonna have bg maybe now going down let's jump Ooh, so unfortunately that is going to be the year uh, confirmed we've got two teams that have dropped so far, UGK, you can see a few that's uh, very, very separated from the, uh, the rest of the squad up to the north around the Oasis area with uh, Mafia 7AE. Splitting those players, Demigod, Incognito, now starting to push in from the north, and it looks like we are going to be centered right up around that water treatment area. But have still got a lot of teams down on this south eastern side. So we've still got those two teams still locked in this battle. They really need to disengage and start getting a, a bit of a move on. We're in phase three of the match at the moment. Minute 30. And that time will fly if you do get uh, locked in a battle. So you can see Foxy starting to uh, roll out, but looks as uh, Vanda starts to regroup. So it does look like we're going to see these guys disengage and start pushing into zone. 
Let's jump on to uh, GDT just quickly. So it looks like we've got uh, two players just here. I'm not sure where Paz is. I think Paz is already... Uh, no, Paz is actually trailing way behind down south here. But let's jump in to uh, the... Uh, where do we want to have a quick look? Make sure there's no one else further out. Yep, cool. We've just got these teams to come in from this side. Looks like we're going to see Sun play. Unfortunately, does get caught out there by Senor and we'll likely get the confirm we do have some players up a little bit further up uh, high though so it's gonna be pop off from orange that uh, might be able to put the hurt in to senor above from above so we've got sky Nin pushing around looking to try and get an angle as well astro now locked in a battle with clips on the higher ground i think pop off coming in from the, the behind here though could be uh, a real issue if Popov does decide it to move back up. Doesn't like the sports coming in, but that was a good nade coming in. Astro play gets tagged up extremely heavily as we do see a, another nade go back out in response to uh, try and slow any pushes from uh, coming in. So Sky Nin has moved around. Looks like GDT trying to get out of this one. Uh, Senior gets tagged up, goes down to about 50%. Paz now moving out, changing up those angles. With the Eclipse also looking to push down it towards Astro Play, but gets shot in the back by Popov. Goes down into about 15%. It's going to have to take this fight before being able to roll out with Popov just charging down this hill at the moment. Clips does manage to get the heel on, but Nate's coming in from the other direction, start to take Clips back up, and he's forced to go back for a heel. But it is going to be a third party. I think that's going to uh, change the game on this one a little bit from uh, 6A Empire. Clips now pushing over. Will managed to take down Popov and unfortunately he's going to be thirsted straight up so that is going to mean that we'll see Orange move out and they're only going to have two players after taking this fight early on as you can see that zone is really starting to close up now hopefully these teams really uh, get organized and get into a zone before we see any of the players go down to play zone it's not hurting too much yet but it's only a matter of time before it does so uh, join me looking pretty uh, chill at the moment they haven't uh, been taking a lot of fights early on yet but they haven't had too many teams running in that direction let's have a quick look at Paz. So i believe he's getting tagged up pretty heavily here he's uh, gone into defensive driving mode and will uh, manage to get away but that next zone has shown itself it's going to be still encompassing water treatment but out to the northwest beta sentinel getting a zone again for game two they're going to be very very happy that zone has gone their way and they don't, aren't going to have to fight in on that side but let's jump on a foxy as they try to make their way in to uh, zone here we've got uh, gdt paza is currently down at the moment vander goes down so, I'm sorry, it's not going to be Paz, it's going to be Clips that's actually uh, down on this one. But these teams really just struggling to get in. We've still got Senor to come in from behind. Sky, Nin, still on the outside, but it looks like they are locked in the battle with uh, 6A Empire. And the vehicles are now starting to become a real issue as they're getting uh, blown up outside of zone. And they're really going to struggle to find any uh, vehicles out here to uh, continue to the next zone. We've still got nearly 800 meters to get in, 750. Paz does manage to take down Foxy there. It looks like Sky and Nin will look to steal and does as uh, Orange now look to uh, get ready to move. 16 Empire is, is just up to God now. You can see he's in a pretty tough spot as well as that uh, vehicle is smoking, smoking very, very heavily. He's going to need to get in very, very soon though. And let's jump. Oh, unfortunately, it does get finished off there. That's going to be uh, FGS that finish those guys off. And they will go out in 14th position. Let's jump on to Demigod Incognito. Just quickly, I want to see what's happening up on this northeastern side. So it looks like we've got Wham that is currently down at the moment. We've got uh, Team Max that's looking to come in behind at TBK. And these guys set to uh, take the fight as they run into this next uh, zone. So we've got Max Krim. It looks like he's uh, just trying to keep a keen eye on what is happening in front. But this north eastern side is very very busy so pew 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 does get taken down now by cream so get spotted out and we're about to see this next phase close so super fast zones and that's uh, really forcing these teams to uh, need to disengage and move i don't think tbk is going to be able to get these revives we've got mafia 17 now starting to get closer and closer to demigod and they're going to be coming over the top can they uh, make this position work for them Surely they've got to be able to with this high ground advantage, especially with the uh, all the other squads that will be fairly focused on that hillside. If they can uh, force them back, there's going to be third parties galore coming out onto these guys. 
But uh, we're down to 42 players left alive. 13 teams remaining as uh, Timothy does finally bleed out there. And that, so Clips and uh, the unfortunately, uh, way, way outside of zone at the moment. Let's jump back on to Max Crimno. So it looks like he's entered into water treatment. But a couple of teams are still on the southern side to uh, that are going to have to make their uh, way through water treatment now. So Clips, unfortunately, does go down to playtime for uh, GDT. I think that was the last remaining player. We're down to 10 now as Zone goes back over to the Northeast. We're going to have TBK that was just taken out too, I believe, as they struggle to get into Zone. But join me, Bl uh, Yellow. Leaving it very, very late to come in this one. They're a little bit more proactive about their positioning in the last one. I think that was uh, very, very beneficial for them. So leaving it uh, a little bit late, I think it's going to make life very, very difficult. You've got Join Me Black coming in. Pretty much parallel to these guys as well, but it looks like they will manage to get up on it and in to that uh, far western ridge. You've got a lot of teams that's going to be coming in behind those guys, so that's going to have a very hard time trying to lock that down. We will see what they're made of very, very soon. But Joey McKinnon now goes down. Looks like we're going to have Orange coming into play on to those guys. So it looks like they are going to have a little shack right on that edge of zone. It's going to be a tough spot to get out of for the other future zones though, as you can see unless they can continue to put the pressure on to join me and just open the door here but they are going to have to watch their back with the other third parties coming out as well as you can see we've got a couple of teams still out further to the west but uh, crazy crazy amount of players in this zone we've got 31 players left alive 10 teams still remaining let us know in the chat who you think is going to uh, get the, uh, the dub for this one so UGK is struggling to get in as well as they come in from that western side. Let's jump on to uh, Max just quickly and see what's happening here. So it looks like they've got one down. They're struggling to get in from the eastern side. And they are pretty much in center mode. They're going to be sending it straight in to Anchor Pub G. We'll stick on the uh, the wider views for the moment so we can sort of see what is happening. So Join Me Onyx does manage to take down power. So both Join Me teams are going at it. But we've got Orange just looking to uh, continue to put the pressure on. It does look like Join Me Black was just eliminated by Join Me Yellow. While well, Orange still just uh, chilling at the moment. Looking to gatekeep. They spot out B to Sentinel. B to Sentinel. Leaving it very, very late to get in. But they do manage to get in. Shazam now trying to make their way in from that northern side. Dragon still outside the zone. That's surely got to be putting the pressure on these teams from behind. So Bot VG does get uh, taken down the dragon unfortunately is going to go down that's going to be the end of UGK they will go out in the ninth position we do have eight teams now remain so we've got 20 just uh, trying to get a couple of nades on to uh, team max will they connect though we've got Leon directly in front it's still a full four-man squad for team max but cream unfortunately does get taken down by uh, mafia so we're looking to uh capitalize with that high ground position i think they're going to have to move into zone but they're right on that edge they are probably in the uh, the best position out of all these teams at the moment so it is going to be a battle right on the outskirts of zone you can see join me yellow and orange and Beta Sentinel, they're really going to struggle in on this far side of the zone, and it's all over ground that they're going to have to push up. Snaking down stun to make his move as he pushes up a little bit closer. And Anchor, PUBG, uh, PUBG Gaming, really struggling with this one. They have lost two. They continue to uh, try and take out the rest of Team Max. They really need to clear that uh, team before they can move forward. Otherwise, they're going to get shot in the back if they do want to move. But zone now starting to close. That's going to flush all these teams on the outside in. Beta Center on now making their move as well as they push up towards Mafia. They do have Mikey Love from uh, ALSK. That's going to be in the mix on that one. But it does look like we're going to see some late shots coming out from APG. And uh, Max, Team Max struggling to get in this this one we're going to have a, a bit of a heel off let's jump on it to uh, the other uh, team that got the other uh, position it is going to be a team uh, mafia beta center not getting zone on this one but they are looking to steamroll as they push up the hill you've got michael loves that's just creeping in behind these guys at the moment he's just chilling he's loving this one let's jump back on it to mafia and uh, see if they can uh, just hold this one down. So we're starting to see the other teams now to make it up. Demigod Incognito pushing up. We've got three inside a zone already. Nades now pushing forward. But uh, we're going to see Sensor that does get tagged up. And it has to pull back in to cover from uh, Ben Sentinel. But great nades coming in from KVN. And uh, takes down a sensor. So Demigod, KVN, the split at the moment. KVN, unfortunately, does go down. We'll need to try and crawl the zone. So hopefully Wham can get that revive and bring the numbers back up. Mafia 7 now feeling the hurt of uh, Benta Sentinel as they do start to uh, make their move in on that northern side. You can see Wham just laying wait. He's got H2R directly above there. He's 
gonna struggle. There we go. So the angle is, does come out. H2R does get taken down by Wham now. And looks like better center will lose one player. So Pink on now comes, uh, sorry, no, backing comes on over the top and does manage to finish off. The, uh, the guys from Demigod as Incognito and three teams now remain. And it's going to be better central going up against Mafia 7E and ALSK just sneaking this one in. You got Mikey in behind. He's got a further rotation. He's got 50 meters to move. Nades come out and uh, he does manage to avoid, but he's outside in the zone. Is he going to just deny the, uh, the kills on this one? Unfortunately, oh, he does manage to take down Pecorn. That zone is hurting and does manage to, or oh, he does manage to uh, get finished off. So ALSK go out in the third position. Two teams remain. Mafia at 7E. Better Sentinel. Who is going to get it? Is it going to be the guys with the high ground? Uh, Mafia 7E. We've got a three man squad going up at against the uh, two man there for better sentinel and uh, better sentinel actually on the other side that is inside zone but beautiful nates coming out there from bot does manage to take down burst we're gonna have t-rex that will be able to get a revive there's still 20 seconds until this uh, next phase of the match does close in and you can see bot and uh, bacon now starting to get uh, a little bit more grouped up so they can provide some support for each other so sensor just trying to see what he can see at the moment and uh, surely we're going to see some nades, uh, some uh, smokes going down that hill so they can push down, or are they just going to have to try and brute force, force this one? So we've got Sensor just uh, ripping around to the left, or two do go around to the right. So they're going to try and sweep from both angles. you got Bacon looking to the south, bot looking to the north, but a great nade comes out. Sensor does go down. That evens up the odds for better. Sentinel can they hold on to take the dub again? Mafia now pushing right in onto these guys. Bot has been tagged up. Very, very heavily down, about 30%. But we're going to see uh, Burst go down. Now it's all up to T-Rex as he goes up against the two remaining players. And better Sentinel take the dub once again for game number two of the Esports Empire Thunder Cup. So we've got a total of, what have we got there? Total of 11 kills. So hitting the double digits for better Sentinel. They're going to have uh, some super, super solid points. We've got... Uh, H2R with four kills. You've got Bot VG with three. Picon with one and a Bacon with three. It surprises me those guys coming in, in on that low side that they were able to smash in as hard as they were. They had a lot of teams in front that they had to fight through just to get into that zone as they left it very, very late in probably phase six, phase seven to uh, get in to a zone. They were pushing across open ground. I don't even think they had vehicles. They were uh, able to... Uh, Clear those teams like I think it was Joy Me that was there and a, a couple others that uh, they had to uh, push right through to get in there. So very, very well played to uh, beat a Sentinel taking the dub for game at two. So Mafia 7E this time getting up good to see with four kills. You got Burst 7, uh, Burst with uh, two. You're going to have Sensor with two also. So yeah, total of four kills for those guys. They had that high ground position. And it was just very, very unfortunate. They did lose that gunfight at the end. They were super, super close to uh, taking the dub on that one. They could smell that chicken dinner, but they just couldn't get to it. We've got ALSK sneaking in in a third position. Mikey loves grabbing two kills in the process. It, obviously, uh, the rest of the squad was eliminated a lot earlier on, and Mikey loves was just managed to uh, just sneak it in for the other team and get some solid, solid placement points there for ALSK. So Demigod in fourth position with two kills. You're going to have KVN with two and Wham with one. Team Max in fifth position. You got Chris with two. You got Leon with one and Krim with one as well. We'll have, uh, yeah, so it's total of four for Team Max. We've got Team Orange. Sorry, Orange Esports going out in sixth position with uh, six kills as well. So Sky in getting two, Pop Pop with three, and Astro X with one. They left it, well, they were taking a lot of fights outside in the uh, the blue. They did manage to get in towards the other uh, final stages, but obviously with that uh, zone going up to the higher area above water treatment coming in from that sort of southwestern side, it was uh, Struggle Town because you were battling with the other uh, likes, obviously of uh, Beta Sentinel. Uh, as the, you were sort of uh, trying to make their way in. So Anchor, Pub, G uh, in seventh position, managing to uh, grab three kills on this one. Saying that, uh, hold on one second. Yep, no, we're good. 
So, uh, yeah, so we've got Shroud with uh, three kills for those guys. And uh, let's uh, continue on with this one as we uh, just get the rest of these. So we're going to have uh, Join Me Yellow coming in eighth position for uh, this one. So we've got uh, a total of six kills for those guys. You've got Joseph with three, Easy with one, Snakey with one, and Onyx with one. In uh, ninth position, we're going to have uh, Dragon with one kill. We've got uh, Fire with one as well. So two kills there for UGK. Okay, and we're going to have uh, Join Me Black in 10th position with that kid getting two kills for the team. We've got uh, TBK in 11th. And in 12th position, we're going to have FGS with that uh, Spoogle getting three kills for the team. GDT in uh, 13th position with uh, three kills. The same thing, they were just taking that fight super early in the zone. Unfortunately, just got caught out. Clips. Getting uh, one kill, and you got Senor with two. We're going to have 6C Empire in 14th position with Foxy getting one kill for those guys. And uh, in 15th position, we are going to have Burmese Ghouls. And in 16th position, of course, we will have the, uh, the guys from Akuma Kitsune. So unfortunately, taking a very, very early exit in this one but uh yeah that was obviously some crazy action on miramar i believe the next match is gonna be sandhawk let me double check that one for you guys just quickly i think uh yep so it's definitely gonna be sandhawk coming up and then we'll the uh, final match will be a wrangle as we uh Get organized now for game number three. So we'll take a short break. We'll see you guys very, very soon. If you haven't already, do make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit the hit the thumbs up and uh, we'll see you guys after this, uh, this short break.
Righto, we are back. We're just about to get underway with game number three. So it is going to be a wrangle, it seems, that will uh, be going back to for game number three. So I've had Beta Sentinel go back to back so far. Can they make it a three-peat? Let's, uh, let's find out. But anyway, the uh, plane is now underway. So we'll uh, check it out. Right, so it's going to be going from uh, south to north. It's going to be going from near Novo up to shooting range so it is a nice easy flight path most of the teams that should be able to find some uh, ground for themselves to be able to loot no dramas at all and it does look like we're going to see joining me yellow dropping early on so they're going to drop to novo it seems we've got orange also jumping out but i believe they'll head over towards uh, milda milda power and i think uh, apg Anchor, PUBG, Esports, they'll be heading in that direction as well. So 6E Empire jumping out. Looks like they're going to head over towards Ferry Pier, I believe. They're on the, uh, the top of Millie Base on the moment, but I think they will look to uh, probably get a couple of vehicles and then keep on rolling out, to be honest. As uh, Demigod Incognito sort of heading in the same uh, or rough direction as uh, those guys as well, I think in the, uh, the long term anyway. But uh, we'll, we'll see uh, Mafia 7E uh, dropping around the farm area, around the southern coastline. Looks like they'll uh, chill there. And the zone is going to go way over to the southeast for uh, game three. So uh, pretty much opposite to what we sort of had in uh, game one, which is good. So we'll uh, get to see it mixed up just a little bit. We do have a couple of squads dropping around the Ross School area as we did previously as well. But uh, Pachinki, it looks like he's going to be occupied by Join Me Black. We do have GDT that is going to be just out a little bit uh, further to the uh, western side. We've also got uh, one of the players from uh, Demigod Incognito out there. Also, that may end up getting caught out. But most of the teams fairly spread out at the moment. I don't expect to see very many uh, super, super early engagements. But there is uh, sort of a small area to uh, rotate in to uh, zone on this one. So I'd say as we sort of uh, move in to the end of phase one, we'll start to see some of these teams come together as they uh, try to uh, scramble to find a position in that side zone. So it looks like where I'm from at Demigod should be okay. You can see the, uh, the guys from GDT have pushed out further and they're heading out towards uh, Gatka. So they're going to head out before pushing it back in very, very soon. TBK pushing all the way over to South George. So uh, jumping at a uh, fair distance on this one. But uh, let's jump on back in to uh, the other view just quickly. I think we'll, uh, we'll put this one this side. Should look a, a little bit nicer. Righto. So Demigod rocking uh, KVN, rocking the, uh, the VSS at the moment. It's good to see. Anyone uh, knows me, they'll know I love to see a bit of VSS action, but right at Bacon. Let's have a quick look, see what's happening here with uh, Vita. So obviously these guys back to back at the moment, they've got to be the points leaders by a uh, fairly significant amount. We've got H2R, we've got Bacon, a Bot, BG, and Pecon. So still running the same lineup, no uh, subs out, which is uh, good to see. As FGS look to push over towards Kameshi, you can see those guys, that's obviously their preferred uh, sort of drop area around Stalberg doing a uh, very big trash loop. And well, uh, ALSK, they'll be uh, loving this zone going out in their direction over towards Lapovka. But it is, does look like we are going to see uh, Beta Sentinel moving early for game three. I believe we've got UGK just starting to get organised as well to roll out from that Roshock position, but they'll uh, probably be a fair bit later than uh, Beta. You can see Beta sort of uh, just scramble around the moment, getting uh, organised vehicles-wise, and I'd say uh, they'll be catching up with Bacon very, very soon. But uh, Bacon starting to go very, very deep. It's pretty much centred around the, uh, the shelter area on this one. And it uh, looks like uh, Bacon will find a position fairly soon in that uh, Senezo position. So 
So APG just getting a uh, nice little loot on it down at Milda, uncontested for the time being. We've got Zero, we've got Twenty, we've got Mossy and Shroud in for these guys. They're just getting organised with their uh, vehicles. So the uh, loot phase of the match should be just about finished for those guys. There's a fair bit of loot in Milda. The Mafia starting to get a little bit closer. And does look like Demigod is now starting to move back in on to the edge of blue for the moment. So uh, let's jump on to Akuma just quickly. I think they've had a couple of tough games so far. We do have Jaro, we've got Mui, we've got Stone and Stacy in. For uh, this one, you can see uh, we've got Stacy just getting a. Uh, Vehicle or two at the uh, second. And it does look like GTT is still uh, getting a bit of a loot on out towards Gatka. But uh, Beta, I think they're actually going to push right up to uh, the Lumber Yards, are they? They are too. So they're going to try and get a more so an Overwatch position over the, uh, the top of the map, top of a shelter. And uh, hopefully it should be able to put them in a uh, fairly strong position as we uh, will, or as we do enter the uh, the later stages of the map. But uh, doesn't look like Orange starting to push up in this direction as well. We've got Sky and in on that front line. You can see we've got one of the players from uh, Beta Sentinel getting very, very close here. We've got Vot BG now pushing up shots. Now starting to get fired from Sky and in. Doesn't look like Sky and in is just going to bail on this one. Or, no, it's actually just going to mix up the angle there and uh, come out on the other side and take a few shots back onto a bot VG. So unable to, to get any shots on as yet. But uh, we've got a couple of shots into uh, that vehicle at the very least. But the rest of the squad pretty much now pulling up. We still do have Sun Sun yet to come up. And I'd say we'll start to see a, a few long range shots going in between these players. So we've got the M4 DP combo for Sky. Nian, it's a great combo. I love that combo. Four times on the uh, the DP. I'm looking, checking out the chat quickly. We've got uh, these chickens for Orange. We'll uh, see how they go. We're on Orange right now with the Picon almost in the sights here of Sky and Nin. Just unable to uh, get shots on. So there is a little bit of hard cover there. And I'd say it's probably a little bit of hill glitching, to be honest. But let's have a quick look at H2R. He's got probably the highest position out of the uh, the whole lot for uh, Beat Arc Sentinel. But it's sort of surprising me how uh, sort of late these teams um, leaving this one to push in as uh, phase one does close. So not a lot of teams looking to establish themselves right in the uh, the early stages. It'll sort of be your phase two of the match, I guess, where you can see or you're going to have more of an indication of where the uh, the map is or the uh, the zone is going to go. It's going to be the uh, the case. But anyway, let's have a quick look at uh, the punks just quickly because we've got some uh, players uh, just rotating around at the moment. It's going to be UGK coming down that eastern coast. It doesn't look like the, uh, the punks and the crew from ALSK are going to get, be able to get too many shots on from here. So it looks like UGK, they're actually going to push reasonably close to Orange and it looks like Orange is going to be... The other uh, pig in the middle on this one. Let's have a quick look at uh, Astro X's uh, point of view just quickly and see if he can spot these guys out. He does manage to spot one out, spots out Saab, has the opportunity to take shots, but doesn't want to give away his position just yet. So just getting as much uh, info as he can. There we go. So few pushed out on that right hand side. Astro X probably could have got uh, knock on that if he uh, had been uh, trying really hard, but. Looks like he's just going to uh, let these guys lie for the moment. And Zone obviously going to be centered up pretty much on the other mainland on this one. So no huge rotations as such really needed because all it's done is essentially cut out the water and the southern melee base island, which was fully expected to be out. You, uh, it never really looked like it was going in that direction. But Fire Sarb, unfortunately, uh, in the uh, sights now of Astro, and he does get tagged up, goes down about 60%, but will manage to get behind some cover. So no one actually in the uh, real central position as yet. And it looks like Astro is going to try and disable some vehicles now. But 6A Empire Foxy, unfortunately, does go down to one of the uh, GDT players. Where about is that one happening? All right, so it's right over on the far western side. Let's jump onto this. These guys are 
going at it very very heavily it looks like you do have gdt that's on the other ridge line you can see we've got uh, big and double d on the other uh, backside now or Vinder on the other uh, front line just laying and waiting he's got angles senior now starting to push up he wants to who's decided whether to get nades or not he's going to get uh, shots on to a uh, senior but unfortunately doesn't manage to make him count unfortunately does get taken down there and will be thirsted up it does look like 16 empire in a lot of trouble now just two players left alive god and foxy with a gdt looking to push right up here but great knocks coming out on to a senior from god as he pops up and unfortunately does get sent straight back down foxy now having to bail on this one as they look to get some position points but foxy he's got a lot of focus a uh, fire focus on him at the moment he's dropped a wheel and you can see these shots still coming out but uh join me V Burf does uh, get some uh, shots in. Let's jump on to this fight just quickly. So it looks like join me Black possibly in a little bit of trouble as they are being pushed by Mafia 7E. We've got uh, Kid just kicking around on the inside. He's the last one standing. Power unfortunately already has been finished off. Kid goes for the pre-fire around the corners and does manage to get the knock there on to T-Rex. Looks to get the confirms. We've still got one player to come in though. It's going to be Sensor for Mafia 7E. So he looks to try and get the revive. Oh, he gets Kid down to 1 HP. And the push is now going to come out. And he's going to Kid, unfortunately, he's going to get the uh, Thirst Cell on to uh, one of the players. And Sensor will look to get the revive. He's still got two players left down at the moment for Joy Me Black. And Blue will be looking to uh, jump up with Sensor very, very soon to put the pressure on. So Kid has managed to uh, get back to health. And is managing to get a revive on to Knee. Nade's coming in. Beautiful Nade. Does manage to get a confirm on a one. It's going to be Knee going down. Kid now looking to get the revive on another. But we are going to see Mafia 7E. Look to, look to split. No, it looks like they are going to push together on this one. Kid will go for a bit of a strafe back out, I believe. No, he's going to uh, push right back down. Wait for these guys to come to him. And unfortunately, his teammate will be... Uh, Finish off there, B Vith is done. And Dustin, 15 teams still remaining. So we've still got 51 players left alive in a phase two. As it does start to close, we do have Smokes out for Kid as he pushes in and chases down one. He does manage to get blue down, but unfortunately jump pop about. Oh! Mafia 7 E eliminated post. Oh no, by his own teammate. That was rough. So two teams going out in split second. Differences there, and uh, one was at their own hand. So Mafia 7E, unfortunately, going out in 14th position. That was nasty, nasty, nasty. But right, I joined me yellow now, going up against uh, GDT as they try to uh, push into uh, zone. You can see one of the other vehicles being blown. These guys regrouping on, so they'll just be able to push out to the uh, the north and avoid most of the shots coming out from joined me yellow as they push in from the Novo area. We've got uh, Orange now starting to make their move down towards the uh, players from UGK just out in front here. Looks like they're getting a bit of a loot on. UGK obviously losing one. It's going to be Shazam that has been finished off already. And we're just finishing up with phase two. You can see Kuma Kitsune playing this one relatively passive, still just staying out on the blue after a couple of early exits in uh, games one and two. And I believe Foxy will be doing the same, but just being that last zone ranger. But it's going to be happy with this next zone as it's gone up to the northwest. So the fields of Yazdai and around the mansion area do have a little bit of shelter in on that southern side. We do have APG already in there, but Demigod Incognito. Going to be one of the first teams to move as they push in from the farm hills ALSK on the move as you can see pretty much every team mobilizing now getting ready to get into zone and establish their position so there is a couple of compounds that's going to be inside this one I'd say we'll see uh, team Max hitting the flat top hill looks like he's going to be the, uh, the case but we've got a beta sentinel about to land on one of the uh, players from team Max here so it's going to be Leon Unfortunately, that's going to get caught out there by H2R. And these guys out in the open as well will need to uh, just keep on moving rather than try to take the, uh, the fight here. But it does look like the uh, museum's going to be there. 
choice of uh, compound we'll have a quick look at what's happening here with team maxo about to be pushed by fgs sabrina so we're gonna have spoogle unfortunately does get a take it down we've got peed still on the other side Spo spoogle will be able to pull back though behind uh, that ridge line there and maybe get revived but in saying that no the rest of the squad they're just gonna bail out of that one and uh, leave him behind so no uh, chance of uh, reviving you're on your own mate on your own so orange coming in around the prison area we're going to see spoogle does get confirmed we've got a gdt and ugk still to move in and obviously join me yellow coming in from that southern side but most of the teams are already inside zone and of course the uh, the lone ranger foxy from a 6c empire but does it look like uh demigod incognito choosing a uh interesting uh, position on this one and it's not a bad position by any means that's for sure but it's not one that is cho that i see uh, chosen a lot anyway as uh they look to uh take ground that's so uh, close towards center zone i'm surprised we haven't got anyone else in amongst it here obviously this compound that's probably the closest compound to center zone is a super super tough one to hold with that ridge to the northwest uh, sorry to the north of it but uh yeah, it's a surprise. So most of the teams actually are riding the edge of blue on this one. Orange, they're going to be still just laying around the uh, the prison area for the time being and not looking to get as as aggressive as, as they have in the uh, past. I'd say Beta Sentinel will be feeling uh, fairly, fairly confident though. So we might see a, a bit more aggression coming out from these guys. We do have Anchor Pub G that's uh, just across the way at the moment and uh, they do still have a full four-man squad we've got 2020 with the m24 taking a few uh, pot shots at peak on but unfortunately doesn't manage to get it. he's just laying waiting waiting for peak on to uh, peak out that's so just all about time there you can see uh, he's got an angle there on the peak on but it doesn't manage to uh, tap him up a few players just uh, kick around it zone is gonna go sort of up to the north it's gonna be centered around that compound that i was talking about it's a very very nasty cop out to hold in my book and it looks like akuma they are going to be the first ones to move towards a center zone for this and they are going to try and hold this compound but as you can see most of the teams now starting to roll out the wheels are 30 fgs coming in from the north Mui from akuma sort of the insurance policy coming in fairly late tbk we're going to be out of the outside here but let's jump on to join me as they try and push past the uh, the guys from demigod so demigod getting if they do get up too high they'll uh, be taken up there by apg and obviously a better sentinel so they can't really afford to get too high over there and uh, try to take out uh, join me black but uh, join me black they're going to be directly opposite akuma now and uh, pretty vulnerable out towards the uh, south there no sorry out to the towards the west we do have a, a bit of hard cover here at the moment we've got uh onyx with a uh, nice little bit of an off angle pushed up towards the uh, the shack and he's going to be laying and waiting for uh, all these teams to come in from uh, the south you can see apg looking to uh, position themselves to move but i think team orange let's jump on to this they're going to be taking the fight outside of this zone going up against alsk josh is currently down at the moment the punks Looks like he is actually bailing out on this one. So we've got Franco that's also down for ALSK2 as well. So it's going to be a pretty tough one. But let's jump on to GDT now. I believe they are trying to gatekeep Team Max here. You've got a couple that are inside. So Prim's got that real high ground still back at the uh, the flat top hill out to the Western Mansion. That might be able to put the uh, the hurt in. But it looks like he's uh, more focused on all the other teams as they're making their way in. Beta Center will now making a move. It looks like it's going to take some of the uh, the new sort of dip areas. But uh, let's jump on to APG. They look like they're in a little bit of trouble. We've got Chi that is down as well for Demigod. Shroud was tagged up very, very heavily. Does manage to get a heal on though. In saying that, APG, I do like the split they've got going at the moment. See if they can push up onto uh, Demigod and uh, try and secure themselves a few kills we'll find out in uh, just a moment i don't know that they're going to look to um push that way though but uh gdt they're going to have a tough time trying to hold that position tbk out on the uh, western side though we have it relatively easy and zone has gone over back to akuma's compound obviously beta sendal back inside zone again and join me yellow 
So it looks like APG is going to move early on. And where are they going to end up, though? So you can see uh, Demigod putting the, uh, the pressure on as Mossy lowers his vehicle, blows it up just to make sure he does have enough hard cover for the time being. But shots coming in underneath. That vehicle is uh, making it pretty perilous there for Mossy. But Demigod now are starting to look to uh, make a move. You can see they're uh, getting in their vehicles, but they're getting tagged up. They get, do get taken. A couple of players do get taken. Now let's jump in to uh, Demigod's point of view as they scramble to get organized for this next zone so we're in phase five with 55 seconds to go does look like uh, apg sort of scrambling back down as well to look to uh, get a, a few revives but uh we're gonna have the punks taking down astro x for uh, team orange so smoke's coming out from sun sun we've got sky nina trying to hold back alsk does manage to take down and mikey loves alsk really out in the open there to uh, the, the back side especially with apg directly in front but it looks like team max now trying to make their move as well in to a zone so uh, getting shot at obviously by gdt as they try and make their way in but let's have a quick look at uh, chris's point of view here and see if you can lock this one down and uh, get the wipe on a gdt so ugk still to come in from behind there as well it looks like they are going to push a straight pass i don't think shots are going to come out at the moment because you've got uh, gdt that's looking to uh, get revived but GDT now in a lot of trouble. They're down to just one. And this zone is going to be absolutely hectic being so open. Let's jump on to TBK though. They've pushed in. And I believe they are on Join Me Yellow at the moment. So it looks like we've got a few players down for Join Me Yellow. They are in trouble town big time. We've got uh, Onyx that is a little bit further out to the south. But he is the last man standing here. Let's jump. So Max Krim unfortunately does get taken down as well. And it looks like Team uh, Max... They're uh, going to be down and relatively low. Righto, let's jump onto Orange. I have managed to make it in. And this is an absolutely insane zone. We've got 35 players remaining, 13 teams. Who is going to take the dub for Game 3 of the Thunder Cup? Southeast Asia. Freelands, I think it is. Righto, so we've got uh, Onyx just uh, chilling at the moment in that shack. Surely he's going to be pushed by a team fairly soon. I'd say APG will look to uh, push in here. You can see Zero did have uh, his sights set on that one. Fortunately, uh, thanks to... Uh, yeah, righto. Let's... Uh, so, Zero. Just taking a few uh, spokes out at the moment, but let's jump on to Orange as they try and hold down this north eastern side they've got it smoked up they've got a little bit of hard cover there they do have alsk that's looking to make their move in but sky Nina is on the outside here that should be able to put the pressure on from the rear and uh, hopefully flush these guys out be the sentinel on the further side though this time are they going to be able to move from this position demigod in their sides they look to push up we're going to have h2r unfortunately that does get taken down by nave from buddy at 16 seconds ago so if they want to get that revival in h2r it does need to happen pretty much now as zone will close as they uh, finish doing that one but demigod they're gonna have to move a fair distance out in the open as well it's gonna be straight into the hands of tbk i believe they will have a bit of a ridge line there and zone now starting to close you can see it is moving super fast bacon in his vehicle h2r does go back down so that revive unfortunately did fail on this one let's jump on to orange again orange sun it does go down sky in and now last one standing still outside of zone as well a fair way back alsk now in trouble as well the punks last one standing but does get finished off by akuma akuma looking to lock that compound down i believe i think they've actually been forced out and it's starting to move forward zone has gone down to the south we're down to six teams now with the uh, Mui. Oh, great night coming out from, uh, I think it was Mui pushing it down there on it to a TBK. They are really on struggling at the moment. Let's jump on the south side and watch these teams trying to push in. So APUG in a super solid spot. Better Sentinel is still next to these guys though. You can see we've got Bot VG that has managed to make their way around, but is on the lower side. Anchor looking extremely strong in this one. Akuma Kitsumi. Good to see these guys getting up. They are in the top three. So looking to get some revives at the moment we've got jari that is down at the moment because they stay starting to move up 35 seconds until the zone does start closing so the only team that re really is outside of zone is going to be akumi here let's jump back on to or you can see how many players just went down to a play zone as this kill feed continues to catch up at nades now raining down that looks pretty good now unfortunately does go over the uh oh, bot so bot will be uh, looking to uh, protect himself i think from the, uh, the north more so than apg but uh, Kumi Kitsune looking good as well now as they've got four players left back up. They've still got a fair way to push in though. Whereas uh, APG, not far to go at all. 
So Stacey unfortunately was taken down. We've got nine players remaining. Who's going to take the dub? It's going to be APG, Akuma Kitsune, or Beta sneaking this one in. So Stone pushing around on the outside. I do like the angle with the DP. Takes down 20 20, but Mossy. Oh, going to get Mossy down as well, but unfortunately does end up going down there to zero, but it was a two for one knock. So that's uh, still good odds. It does look like Mui's gone for that revive on a Stacey. APG, Mossy, and twi uh, 20 do manage to get in front of that zone, though, so won't bleed out. They might be able to get the revives. Jari, I would have hoped would have been able to put a bit of pressure on, but it does look like he's just a little bit low to have spotted those rolling players out. But zone has gone back to the north, so the tides have turned. We do have APG that does need to move for this next zone. 16 metres forward. Uh, actually, we've got uh, Akuma that's going to have to uh, move forward. So I think uh, Bot will be uh, putting a fair bit of pressure on. Looks like we've actually got a uh, relatively good vehicle here. But uh, zero. No, it's, no, it's his own teammate. I'm assuming he must have uh, thought it was a smoke for that to happen. As we've got three seconds for zone to come in. Bot does get spotted out, but unfortunately, it, oh, it gets tagged up, does get suppressed. As APG looks to move right on to Bot. Trout now trying to make his move, trying to go for the run over, but unable to do so. Jari does get it taken down, though. Trout now going to go down as well. Beat up Bot popping up, and that's going to be APG finished off. Can... Bot, bot VG clutch this one up. I think he's just got uh, Mui just in front. He's got two down as he crawls in to a zone. Can he spot these guys out? He looks to get the confirm. He's up on his feet. He's looking to take this fight. Mui surely knows exactly where he is and he's going to be able to finish him off. Akuma Kitsune take the dub for game three of the Thunder Cup by Esports Empire. So Jari smashing. This game with eight kills. You've got Stone with two, Stacy with one, and Mui with two. So that's a total of 13 kills for uh, Akuma. It's Sunni, so definitely uh, getting right up there with the uh, the points-wise. With what, probably, I'm assuming it's the 15.1 uh, the kills scenario, which would make it 28 uh, points. So that's uh, good to see. That'll uh, get him uh, in the uh, mix. But so Stone with, uh, or sorry, Jari just absolutely smashing towards the end. I will uh, be checking him out a little bit more in uh, the uh, next match, that's for sure. But uh, great to see those guys getting up. Congratulations, well played. Moving early on to that compound, that was that is a very, very tough compound to hold, but no one obviously pushing that as well. But... Uh, yeah, that moving early was obviously very, very beneficial. They had that hardcover where they were able to uh, not get tagged up as much, be able to put the pressure on a lot of teams as they were trying to make their way in, and then were able to just move in from that northern side and uh, take the chicken dinner. So uh, Beta Sentinel in second position. So one at one and two. Can't really ask for much more, that, to be honest, but uh, only four kills, surprisingly, with a bot getting a three, H2R with one. So, yeah, total of four. Well played to a beta. Definitely, definitely uh, going to be one of the top, or well, other the, uh, the top contender at the moment. We've got APG, Anchor, PUBG, Gaming in third position with three kills. You've got Shroud, uh, sorry, with one, and we're going to have zero with two. Orange going out in fourth position. Consistently uh, up in the mix on uh, for these guys with five. You got Sky Nin with three, Sun Sun with one, and Astro X with one as well. Just let me check something just uh, quickly. Yep, cool. Right, so uh, in fifth position, we're going to have uh, TBK. Family TBK in uh, fifth there with a kill for each of the players. Timfy, Pew Pew Pew, Default, and uh, no crush. Six is going to be a Demigod Incognito with two. We've got KVN and Bunny both getting one each. We've got UGK in seventh position with Dragon getting three kills for the team. In eighth position, we're going to have ALSK with Franco grabbing two. Join me, Yellow, going out in ninth. In tenth, we're going to have six C Empire. In uh, 11th, we're going to have FGS Sabrina. In 12th, we're going to have GDT. With Step Bro getting one, Senor. With one, and Genos with one as well. Team Max, unfortunately, going out reasonably early this one. 
in uh, 13th position with Chris getting uh, three kills for the team. We're going to have uh, Cream with one as well. Mafia 7E in uh, 14th position with four. So Burst getting one. We've got Sensor with one and T-Rex with two. So I'm assuming they got the, uh, the squad wipe. Or well, they did actually get the squad, squad wipe. But then remember they uh, had that unfortunate demise by getting smashed by one of their uh, nades. But uh, join me, uh, Black, going out in 15th position. They did manage to get three. We got Power with one and Kid with two as he uh, tried to battle it out with the uh, Mafia there. But I hope uh, everybody is enjoying the stream. Make sure you do smash that follow button if you haven't already. And uh, we'll see you guys very, very soon with the fourth and final match of the night for the Thunder Cup by Esports Empire.
and we are back with the fourth and final match for the Sunder Cup Southeast Asia Finals. We're uh, just about to get underway. We'll check out this flight path in just a moment. Obviously, if you haven't already, please smash that follow button and we'll see you on the other side of this one. Let's check it out. So it's going to be going from El Pozo over the uh, the top of uh, Calgary, San Martin, pretty much. Finis Generalis and uh, terminating on that eastern coast. It looks like we're going to have FGS dropping early and they're going to head up towards Ruins, it seems. With a Mafia also dropping early on and they do have company. I'm fairly sure that it is going to be ALSK dropping to El Pozo. So UGK dropping down south. I think they're going to go to uh, Monte Nuevo. We do have uh, Demigod Incognito pushing out to the north of San Martin while APG been pretty lucky that no one else has dropped on them at uh, San Martin so far. So we did start off with Wrangle, we went to Miramar, we're back, uh, did a Wrangle and we're back at uh, Miramar for the second time. So it looks like uh, Bina Sentinel are going to be going down south towards Chamacera. We will see where this zone is going to go in a few moments time and it's going to be going way, way down south. So that's is going to put Beta Sentinel at a, a little bit of an advantage where they're not going to have to rotate as far, but uh, does look like we've got a couple of teams also heading down towards Los Leonis. So Kume Kitsune heading down to Los Leonis with Orange. So looking at that, I'm expect it does look like Kume Kitsune Stacy was getting very, very close to Orange, but I believe it's sort of uh, pulled back and uh, he's going to lead up around the La Bendita area. But we do have a couple of squads that are just about on top of each other. That's going to be 6C Empire and also GDT. So, uh, Gui Dotty Esports and Mikasa. So, I do expect to see it kick off at Impala early on. Well, we've got uh, Join Me Black that have gone to Picardo. Same deal with uh, Yellow. They've dropped around the Hacienda del, del Patron area. And I think. Uh, vying for position early on is going to be super beneficial for these teams if they uh, they can do so. We do have uh, FGS Sabrina that's going to have probably uh, one of the uh, largest rotations being up at Ruins, but they will have pretty much a clear shot down that western side of the map. It looks like Beta Sentinel they have managed to get vehicles already as they uh, push in towards Chamacera, so they'll have plenty of time to loot up and uh, take this fight when all the other teams to come. But let's uh, switch on over to the emulator view and we'll uh, check out uh, what's happening here. So the 6C Empire, you can see shots already coming out. Let's get a bit of an overview of uh, what's happening here. We've got God on the front line with a big double D. And it looks like these teams are in a fairly tense standoff. Clips has been uh, clipped a little bit. He's down about 70% step row going for that higher ground. So these teams are already looting uh, up enough, obviously, to be able to take this fight comfortably as a 6C Empire start to push forward. You've got God that's on the off angle. The rest of the squad is uh, sticking very, very close by. I do like that uh, step row is being very, very proactive at the moment and trying to push around to the higher side to try and get a bit of an overwatch to protect his team. But uh, GDT, they are pretty much just staying put and waiting for 6C Empire to push over to them at the moment. And it looks like, let's jump on to step row's point of view here and see exactly what he can see. So you can see he's got a uh, nice view of, of essentially down a tunnel where uh, the other players from 6C Empire would have to push through if they do want to make it across to the uh, the rest of the squad of uh, GDT. The step bro, I think he might almost have an angle onto uh, Vinder there. He's uh, just laying in waiting, relaying that information about what is happening to uh, the rest of the squad. There we go, and the shots do come out. Vanda does go down. It does look like the push is going to come out as well. So GDT getting the knock, getting aggressive. 
And moving in, moving forward. Looks like Senior might get tagged up very uh, heavily there by God. But God now pulling back. Here's the footstep from Stepro. Stepro now stuck. Stuck behind a uh, old blown out vehicle at the moment. With God waiting to uh, take a couple of shots as soon as he peeks his head out. It looks like we're going to have Geno's now pushing in. Senor does get taken down by a nade there from Big Double D as God is starting to get isolated now as he's got two players pushing up in his uh, building. We're going to see Vanda now get taken down for uh, 6 CM Empire. So Clips coming back, but the push comes in. He goes in with the Tommy. He gets one, but unfortunately the uh, drop shot from Genos is going to finish him off, and that's going to be 6 C Empire taken out in 15th position with the GDT getting four kills Super early on in this match. Let's have a quick look at Sun Sun. They're only 5 minutes 30 in to the match. We've got Sun Sun just kicking around the moment. Looked like he was fairly close to uh, some of the Kuma Kitsune players, but looks like there is a, a few uh, large buildings in between for the time being. So you've got ALSK that's pushed out of El Pozo now. Does look like Mafia 7 and uh, ALSK were able to sort of loot in El Pozo fairly harmoniously. I don't think we really had any sort of engagements happening there at the well while they were uh, looting up but it uh, looks like a lot of teams are choosing to push this far western side so that was going to mean that uh fgs might have a little bit of trouble to come in they're going to be one of the uh, last teams to push in the tumacera pretty much been the uh, center zone on this one Peter sentinel i'd say will just stay put so tbk is still yet to uh, come in we've still got team max over at El azahar that uh, do uh, need to make a move. Looks like we've got uh, Chris just getting organized. As with uh, most of the rest of the squads now starting to uh, really mobilize. UGK pushing all the way down to Valdemar. But let's jump on it to uh, who we got there. So it's going to be Mikey Loves. That uh, did just have a little bit of company with uh, some players pushing past. And looks like shots are coming out in his direction. But he does manage to duck and weave and avoid those shots. So UGK continue uh, moving forward now after uh, taking a couple of the pot shots there. Look like, uh, that Akuma Kitsune do have the uh, the player out on that north western side of Los Leones. So they're going to get the uh, the info when we do see the uh, team of uh, Orange start to push through. So you can see Stone laying and waiting there but he's actually uh, just hiding out at the moment doesn't look like he's uh, keen to take the fight early on but he's going to have a uh, reasonable indication about what is happening in a Los Leones from that position so UGK continuing to push further and further south we've got probably 20 odd percent of this well, probably not even that probably only 15 percent of this uh, zone is going to be water we've got the southern island inside uh the zone pretty much completely there's a potential for the other zone to go down in that uh, direction but uh, it is going to be an interesting one right let's jump up on to a blue from a mafia seven so we've got some of the players from fgs now pushing it down from the north from the ruins area and it's Dajar that uh is now in the sights of blue so he's uh, pretty isolated here. Are we going to see these guys look to get the confirm? Are we going to see one of the players sort of flank out and get the uh, life angle? It looks like uh, Blue just uh, making sure he's uh, very situationally aware there. But Joy McKinn now takes down Org. Sana, Sana, let's jump on it to uh, Org just quickly and see what's happening there. That's, of course, Orange. It looks like Pop Pop, unfortunately, was just taken down by Kid. So Kid's been putting in a ton of work here. Taken down two. It looks like Orange off to a very, very rough start. Astro play now starting to push up. Let's jump on the sky. Nin's point of view. So he's right above at the moment. He spots uh, Bivith on the back line. Tries to get a couple of shots in. Does manage to take him up once or twice, but not able to get enough shots on to get a knock. So join me, kids. A fairly uh, low bit. We're going to see Mafia burst 7E. Uh, unfortunately, lose one with uh, FGS going at it at the moment. Up on this northeast, uh, northwestern side. So you can see, yeah, that's first. Unfortunately, he is done. He's in the, the, uh, the mix. We've got sets up a little bit higher. And it looks like T-Rex now looking to uh, push down to uh, try and get a revive. But uh, Pete trying to get up in behind these guys. Might be able to put the, uh, the pressure on. So he's got to push through sensor first before he can push over that ridge line to put the pressure on. 
saying that uh, looks like Spoogle still uh, currently down. I haven't been able to get that revive as yet as with the uh, but DJ still down at the moment. I think Spoogle is being revived by Reaper at the moment. He is uh, out in the uh, open. Thankfully, they don't have any more teams to come in from that northern side. But it looks like ALSK, they're going to be going up against Speed at Sentinel as well. But T-Rex does manage to take down Spoogle again. So that's going to mean Reaper is going to need to get that revive. He's looking to uh, put a bit of suppressing fire down as Mafia look to clean up here. And they do. So unfortunately, that is going to be FGS going out in 14th position. Let's jump on to the ALSK fight. Got up against Beta Sentinel, obviously. Beta Sentinel just dominating the first three matches, getting uh, two uh, chicken dinners and a second. Does look like ALSK. They're just going to sort of hold back and wait to see if these guys do push over. You can see Bacon being super proactive here and uh, trying to get that off angle. Looks like he's going to start moving up. No, he's going to regroup, so not... Uh, super keen to get aggressive. They've seen this zone pop and it's going to be just out on the northeastern side of Chumacera. So looking at to uh, move rather than take the fight in these early stages. So TBK coming in from the north looks like. We've still got GTT moving through. They're coming through Porto Pereira. They're going to come right around the other southern side. It should make our life easy, but we do have Join Me Yellow in very, very close proximity to uh, some of the Akuma Yitsuni players. We got Jari, so yeah, fragging out in the last match. These guys, I haven't uh, really spotted anyone out as yet, but they're going to get up on the other rooftops here. You can see Joseph in the other five stacker. That was a uh, potential issue here. So Jari has spotted these guys out now. But can he get a knock? So uh, just trying to get his uh, third party peek on and you can see the, uh, the rest of the squad from Akuma starting to uh, push in to provide some support. We are going to have Onyx. Unfortunately, does get taken down there. Jari does manage to get that knock. Looks to get the confirm, but the rest of uh, Join Me Yellow further back holding down the five stacker for the time being. So we've got Easy L. Oh, sorry, we've got Ease. I think it is. That uh, is just uh, poking his head out there at the moment. Let's have a quick look at uh, the point of view from these guys. So it is going to be easy. With the M24 trying to get a knock. That is forced to pull back a little bit. You've got Joseph up on top. That's uh, in a pretty tough spot if Akuma are still looking to uh, put the pressure on. Looks like Beta. They're just going to hold Chum for the time being. As we're down to 13 teams, 48 players left alive. Who do we think is going to take the dub in the fourth and final match of the Thunder Cup? Let's uh, jump on easy for a second. I want to see if you can uh, port that M24 to work. This looks like he's going to pull back just a little bit for the other moment. As we see, uh, Mafia now starting to move in towards a demigod in Cognito. So make sure you uh, do smash that subscribe button as we uh, try to reach 10k on uh, the Esports Empire channel here. Every uh, sub will count, but uh, Orange now starting to get in the uh, high ground of Chumacera. So it's, uh, we might see an engagement between uh, those players and the Beta Sentinel. So a few shots being exchanged, but doesn't look like too many are tagging up at the, at the moment between these two teams as uh, we uh, go to the next phase of the match. So it's going to be out to the east of Tumacera, pretty much encompassing the area between Los Leones and Tumacera. We do have a little bit of each of those places in it, respectively, but Orange making their move early on. You can see we've got UGK already established in a uh, fairly high ground position here. Up at the uh, the church. Obviously, this is going to be quite a good position for these guys to hold. But it's really going to depend on where the uh, the next zone does go. It's, it's likely that it is going to pull away from that uh, sort of position. With it not being uh, super, super close to a center. But uh, join me, Black, they are 
very very close to being dead smack in the middle they're running a bit of a two by two at the moment they've got a compound and i believe they are up in the high ground as well but uh looks like we've got ugk now starting to uh, come into play trying to use this high ground position to uh their advantage to tag up a few teams like team max as they try to make their way in you can see we've got leon in the uh the distance where is the rest of the team max so they are in that compound and it looks like beta sentinel they've uh pushed to the low ground on the uh south eastern side of chumacera they've got alsk still to come across apg pushing through chumacera itself so a lot of pot shots just being exchanged at the moment but that uh, dragon sub is going to manage to get a knock there on it to knee i believe they'll be able to get a revive on the knee do have one player very very close here and he is in hard cover so it's going to be power that's pushing over to get that revive so ugk trying to hold that power position for the time being bacon now very very close to some of the gdt players as they finally come into a zone from that southern side they had a, a very very large rotation on this one but bacon just chilling for the moment i believe we've got some support pushing up the uh, the hill here as uh the rest of the beat up sentinel push up you can see step right now oh he's gonna get done bacon just camping that one out does manage to get the uh, knock we still got gdt out on the uh, the outskirts here up on the uh, the hillside they have uh, lost one i believe but now try to put the pressure on from above so we're still on the outskirts here and we do have alsk now looking to come in behind these guys as well that really might make it difficult here for the other guys from gdt up on this high ground so the alsk they're definitely hearing these shots fired at the moment looks like clips is trying to pull back i'm not sure that they're fully aware that they do have alsk behind them though you can see uh, clips just trying to no looks like he's reasonably focused on these guys but sky Nin coming into play as zone goes back over to the western side orange getting center zone on this one we do have about five teams in beta sentinel with one player down they'll be uh, looking to get that revive very very soon it's going to be pig on his back up as we speak as alsk look to disengage and now roll out away from uh, gdt so gdt still actually do have three players left up it looks like Jeremy Yellow, they're going to uh, take a big rotation as well, come around that southern so side. But Pecon now gets taken down by Sky in. So, Orange really putting the uh, pressure on to a few teams as they try to come in. We've got Sky in with the uh, the M16. At the, uh, the moment, let's have a quick look at uh, Demigod and see what's happening with those guys. Looks like they are going to have a little bit of trouble as they push in from that northern side. They're going to be rotating in to uh who we got the uh, up but uh, there's that is going to be apg they look like they should be able to hold them back very very well from this position and in saying that tbk now coming in behind as well that's gonna make life extremely extremely difficult for demigod so you got bunny that's out on the outside that's pretty vulnerable that's gonna have to take the fight from it behind we do have uh, some nays going out as he looks to uh, get the confirm on it to uh, or get to a, a knock on to a default you people obviously getting attacked up just a little bit but this northern side is very very team heavy uh, mikey loves that managed to take down a snakey so it looks like uh everyone's sort of trying to get in on either the north or the south and join me yellow now down to two you can see your nades coming out they're looking pretty good too at the moment that forces the punks to abandon that revive franco on the back line from alsk trying to hold uh, join me yellow back well they uh, look to get that revive michael loves on the uh, the outside at the moment is he going to continue to push up look like it's going to be the case so uh, the punks has been tagged up and does start to pull back but beta sentinel will look to put the pressure on these teams as they push back in to zone So Mikey loves on that low side. We've got uh, Beta Sentinel keeping it uh, pretty safe at the moment. 
Deciding that that vehicle is trashed up, but unfortunately does get taken out. Two you don't go down for ALSK, and uh, those two players are in a fair bit of hurt now. Are they going to try and push down that ridge line, or is uh, Baker going to look to get them confirmed? He is, so Joss, and unfortunately the punks both get thirsted up. Let's jump back up on to the northern side. No, we'll jump on over to uh, Joby Yellow. We've got Joseph trying to make the mad dash into zone now. As you can see, he's a tire down. The runner through wheel, and he's. Uh, in a little bit of trouble pretty much every direction he goes now he's going to get tagged up and unfortunately does get finished up there by pecan so kuma kitsune is still trying to make their way in now you do have join me black trying to come in from that eastern side but kid is down at the moment me putting the pressure on to uh, kuma kitsune and does manage to take down a one but they will manage to get in cbk it's like struggling to uh, get into a zone as well as they've got a couple of squads in front. That is going to be APG. They've just pretty much locked down that northern side and uh, held back a lot of teams with Demigod still on the outer there as well. But uh, this northern shift, it does put UGK up at that church in a great position. They're going to have so much high ground there. Max, uh, Team Max now trying to make their way in on the eastern side though. But uh, Timpy now gets taken down. Looks like uh, TBK in a lot of trouble with just two... Players now left. Uh, Franco gets taken down as well for ALSK. I think that might have actually been the end. We're down to 11 teams remaining. 34 players left alive. Who's going to take the dub this time? Will we see uh, Beta Center or get right up there this one? Or in saying that, the, the south part of the zone is looking uh, pretty clear. So they might be able to get in easy enough. But we see TBK smashing onto Mafia 7E. One of those Mafia 7E plays goes down, but no crush trying to get into the shack. Unfortunately, couldn't. And Orange is going to take them out. So down to 10 teams. So we've got uh, Orange now on that southern side. We can see uh, Beta Center still uh, coming in. Inside the other blue looks like Mafia 7e really really struggling to get on this one T-Rex the last player standing trying to make it in And he's gonna try and crash this little shack again. Will they get in? They're struggling to get in there We go Mafia blue is gonna make it in but zone does still shift away and it's gonna be centered up So all these teams on the outskirts they are gonna have to move and no one is currently inside the next zone of the 24 players left alive You just can't drag down the sides of shroud from Anchor, PUBG Esports. No, but Demigod put themselves in the open to that side and do get finished off. They'll go out in roughly eighth position. Plenty of shots coming out from the SKS. Shroud has to duck down now. He gets tagged up from Mafia. We've got Joy Me Black still in, or the, uh, the first player to make it into a zone. It's going to be Knee as Team Max now looks to take the fight with the Kubek Kitsune. Mui does get spotted out there. You see Chris going for the first when he probably could have got the knock onto Stone out in the open there. And unfortunately, he's going to pay the price for that one. He does get thirsted straight up. Or uh, Orange now mate, looking to make their move in to a zone as well. They'll have to leave that hard cover on the edge of Chamasera. But what's happening here with that knee do? So just chilling in the uh, the vehicle for the moment. Listening to uh, the uh, the radio. Right, let's jump onto a stone. He's going to have a, a pretty tough push in as a zone is about to start closing uh, just in a few moments. Right now, it's actually starting to close. So he does have orange in front. How's the bed situation? He's got six first aid, so he can leave it a little bit later to come in. But he still has a uh, fair way to push. It's going to be out in the open as well, unless he tries to push up that ridge line in behind orange there. Probably would be a smart move. Max Leon now starting to make a move, trying to make his way in. That vehicle is just about toast. That so looks like he's going to try and smoke it up rather than have it uh, tagged up and uh, blow up. But Max Krim unfortunately does get taken down and zone goes back over to Leon. Leon is actually going to be in center zone from there. Stalker does get confirmed by Shazam. And we're going to have APG looking very, very strong at the moment. Even though they're outside of zone, UGK still with a full four best squad, but they do have two down. APG now looking to put the pressure on. Shazam has been forced back. Shroud now makes his way up. Orange down to one. It's just Astro X left up. Blue also the last player for Mafia. But Shroud now getting right in amongst it as they look to take control of the high ground of the next phase of the match. Got Mossy now starting to push up as well, but can uh, Shroud secure this position for APG? I think it's uh, really going to uh, matter to hold this position, but they're saying that they've got the numbers. It's a 4v2, v1, v1, v1. So they've got a very, very significant numbers advantage and anchor 
now continuing to push up on it to UGK. They're just going to try and steamroll all four, pushing up. Few does manage to take down Shroud, but gets tagged up, does get taken down. Shazam on the back line, pulls back and makes APG come to them, but it doesn't look like APG is going to push over just yet. I'd say they'll look to get the revive on to Shroud first. But it's a full squad up against a sea of solos. Three solos left. Shazam does get finished off. UGK get taken out. Orange going out in third. And it is just up to join me. Black's knee. So uh, knee now getting taken up very, very heavily. He's got so much fire coming down that hill. And he's about to go down to a play zone. That is going to be Anchor Pub G Esports securing the win and getting that chicken dinner for game four of the Thunder Cup by Esports Empire. So we've got a total of seven kills for those guys. So very, very well played towards the end, being able to push over the uh, the top of UGK and just grabbing that high ground position. And saying that, being able to get into uh, that late stage of the match with all four players too was definitely a very, very significant advantage. If you haven't already, make sure you do smash that follow button on the Esports Empire uh, channel now as we uh, go through the uh, the final uh, final results for the uh, the fourth game. So join me, uh, Black, in second position. They managed to get six kills. We've got Kid with two, Knee with four, Orange in third position with a total of five, Sky in with two. We've got Astro X with three. So, uh, yes, five kills for Orange. Well played to uh, those guys. We've got UGK going out of fourth position with five also. So Dragon, Shazam, Fire, all getting one each. You got few with two. We're going to have uh, Max. Team Max going out in fifth position with four. You got Chris with two, Stalker with two, and Mafia 7E going out in sixth position with a burst getting a two kill. Sensor with two, T Rex with one, and Blue with one. So a total of six. Akuma, Kitsune, not able to, or they still managed to get to uh, seventh, but unfortunately just not getting uh, as high up as uh, I'm sure they would have liked. But managing to get uh, three uh, kills. You got Jaru with one, uh, Stacy with one, and uh, Mui with one as well. So we're going to have uh, Demigod and uh, Demigod Incognito in eighth position. Beat uh, Sentinel. So having a rough final match, but I think they probably got enough points in the, uh, the first three uh, games so they managed to get five kills you got bot bg with one pick on with two and bacon with two as well gdt in 10th with four clips with three genos with one we've got tbk in 11th default with one uh, alsk in 12th position with mikey loves getting a two join me yellow in 13th fgs sabrina in 14th and 6C Empire in 15th position. So that pretty much uh, rounds out the uh, results. And uh, that is going to be uh, the uh, end of the stream. Obviously, thanks everyone for uh, coming in. I hope you have enjoyed the stream. I'm Seki. I've been your caster for the other uh, night. And once again, make sure you hit that uh, like, subscribe button for the other uh, guys at Esports Empire as they try to uh, get to 10K. I'm sure they're going to be there in uh, no time. So thanks for everyone for uh, supporting. Thanks for all the players. And obviously, uh, thanks to uh, the guys from Esports Empire for giving me the opportunity to cast this one because uh, this one was absolutely insane. The the action that uh, was had was nuts. It was so, so awesome to see these uh, top teams going at it. All right, that's me uh, signing out. Have a uh, great night.